So Xeno Multiverse just came out, and you might be wondering, which one of these nine game passes should you buy? Alright, so Genetics Pack 1 is probably my favorite. The Genetics Packs don't offer any significant advantage over anybody else, so they're mainly cosmetic, so you get uh, basically extra forms. So this one, Genetics Pack 1, has GT Goku's genetics, which basically gives you Super Saiyan 4 and full power Super Saiyan 4. And then DBS Vegeta's is basically DBS Goku's, but you also get Blue Evolution, which is cool because Vegeta's awesome. Uh, Goku Black's genetics, you get Super Saiyan 1 to 3, Super Saiyan Rose, and Super Saiyan Rose 3. I wonder if you would get Super Saiyan Rose 2, but... It may, I'm, I'm not completely sure. This hasn't been updated in a year, but most of it's still correct and valid. Okay, so Genetics Pack 2 is probably the one you should get if you're a Freezer race, or if you're a hardcore Broly fan. So basically, I think this is the only other race with like a different set of genetics which is really annoying and weird because saiyans have like 10 genetics or something and then it's only the freezer race that gets like one and then uh this pack also has uh dbs broly so it's not dbz broly there's no dbz broly it's only dbs uh wrathful which is just that green aura uh super saiyan which is probably the one without uh like the eyes and full power super saiyan which is basically legendary super saiyan uh it also gives you limit breaker super saiyan 4 which kind of sucks because that should be included with genetic pack 1 but it's cool i don't know okay so this this is the character pack number one and basically what this does is it adds playable characters to uh, like 1v1 and 2v2 game modes, so basically ranked matches, PvP. So it adds Vegito, Lord Beerus, Dragon Ball Super Broly, which has four, I guess, four different variations Gogeta and Goku Black. And it also adds Mentors, which is Beerus and Vegito. So I'm pr this is actually pretty cool. I'm actually considering buying this. There's also a Beerus world location, but I'm not entirely sure if the character pack gives you access to that world. Because I heard that you need like a high power level to access it, but it doesn't say here, so I'm not entirely sure on this part. Nimbus is probably the best investment you could make. It's insanely helpful. It almost doubles your flying speed, which is already very slow, so it's very helpful to get around. So the Time Chamber training mode map is probably one of the best game passes you could get. Uh, so the, basically there's a training mode in the game and it costs 3000 zenny to enter. And basically what it is, it's like a it's like a box where you can fight an NPC and you get increased power level gain compared to like doing quests or something. It's basically like fighting a player but I think you get a little bit more, I'm not entirely sure. but. Basically what this game pass does is it unlocks the time chamber map and when you're in that map you get double the the amount of power level you would compared to like the, the basic map which is really helpful and uh, training mode is getting buffed very soon so I really suggest picking this up it's a very good buy. So this is basically how you unlock Super Saiyan 5 and it requires you to have genetics packs number one which i would probably assume yeah it's because you need super saiyan 4 which makes sense and you get two skills dark kamehameha and super dark kamehameha these sound pretty stupid but i guess paying 230 is not enough for just super saiyan 5. just don't buy these unless you're actually gonna like no life this game because it takes long enough to grind one slot Trust me, it will take you long enough. So, when this game pass says that Ultra Instinct Omen is free to unlock, it means that you have to work for it. Like, you don't just get it, you don't buy the game pass and then you just get it. 
and you don't buy the game pass and you don't just get you don't just get master ultra instinct that's not how it works like it's basically a paywall for angel training to get mastered ultra instinct which it's pretty stupid but it's very smart it's a good cash grab and basically this game pass allows you to train with Whis to help you master ultra instinct and it grants access to ultra master ultra instinct as i said and you gotta master omen first and you get three mentors and three outfits so you get ultra instinct goku mentor Tyrion Mentor and Whis Mentor. And you get a Pride Trooper suit, the Zeno Goku's outfit, and Zeno Vegeta's armor. Now, do I recommend this? Well, it really depends on how far you get in the game, because you need to be very far ahead in the game to get Omen, and then you gotta go even farther to get this. Like, it's gonna be very tough to get this far, very time consuming, so. Buying this, it like you just really need to know that you you're gonna have to grind a lot, and this does not just give you Ultra Instinct right off the bat. So the best game passes I would probably say are Nimbus because it's super cheap and flying is super slow, and you really need fast mobility if you want to grind fast. And this is very helpful when you're like grinding Zenny or just trying to get to like. A master after a uh, mentor I mean after like flying through the massive maps and yeah I really recommend this one and then the next best one or probably tied with Nimbus is the training mode map time chamber this is incredibly useful 